Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I, well, let's rewind back a little bit. I know I said I was supposed to do another video in the next couple of weeks, but I got way too excited. So I figured why not go ahead and come with you, come to you guys with two lipsticks that I got. Um, so, everybody's been hearing or talking about the new matte lipsticks, or well, liquid lipsticks from MAC, from MAC. I knew way about, I knew about the lipsticks way before it even, you know, came out. Um, but I wanted to go ahead and get two lipsticks that I really did like, just to try to try it out and see how I felt about it before I ended up buying the whole entire collection like I do with every collection. So, we're gonna be talking about these two bad boys right here. So I picked up Feel So Grand and High Drama. Let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so just a little info on the lipsticks in case you guys are wondering what the long wear is or how this lipstick is actually gonna make a difference compared to the regular um, small lip, small bullet lipsticks that are about um, $16, $17. With these lipsticks, these are actual retro matte. So if you think about it, Ruby Woo lipstick is a retro matte. And that's the only retro matte lipstick that we have that's a part of the actual matte lipstick collection. Just the lipstick by itself. These, these are a liquid retro matte. So when you apply them on, they are liquid. Leave it on there for a little bit, it dries. Y'all, I'm sorry, I'm really cut. I'm really trying to get used to looking in the lens and not the um, LCD screen. So if I keep looking in the back, I'm sorry, I'm just trying to make sure I'm actually in focus. I'm gonna get this. Anyhow, um, the lipsticks are eight hour wear. If you notice, if you guys have it, if you notice the brush that comes with the lipstick looks like this. And I know that the lighting here is horrible, like it is ridiculous. What this will do is help you get a smoother application and apply it on much smoother for you. And because the color is really intense in coverage, this will give you a good swatch or two just with one dip, if that makes any sense. And for what I have on right now is of course, um, feels so grand. I've had this on since seven o'clock this morning. I've been at home since 4.15 and it's not 4.48. So that kind of tells you lipstick is still popping. And the good thing about it, it is non-transferable. And when I mean transferable, meaning that if you was to like drink out of a bottle or kiss somebody or even dab off your lips with a napkin, is that gonna remove the lipstick at all? Nothing. That's the best part for me. I'm going to reapply my lipstick every so often, even after like, I eat or whatever the case may be. That gets annoying sometimes. What the fuck wants to do with all that? Every time they eat or every time they end up wiping their lips for whatever odd reason, I prefer just to have a lipstick that stays put the way that I want it to stay put. Sorry the lighting here is horrible. I, my Diva ring light has not yet come in. So forgive me and just bear with me. So we're gonna do a test swatch on the back of my hand of Feel So Grand. And that is Feel So Grand. And then we're gonna do one of my favorite lipsticks, which is High Drama. There you go. So again, this is Feel So Grand. This here is High Drama. I'm gonna apply High Drama. You don't necessarily have to use a lip liner with the lipsticks because the way that the actual brush is uh, made, the tip of it acts as if it was a liner. So you kind of actually could line your lips first with using the tip of the brush, then go in there and apply it on your lips fully. I'm just gonna zoom in so you guys can see.
And again, I haven't double dipped at all. I'm still using the exact same dip when I did when I opened it up and then put it on. So yeah, that's high drama. I love this lipstick. I definitely love the way that it dries matte. And when I say it dries matte, it dries to the point, straight to it, matte. Nothing else can be drier than matte. This is matte. It's perfect. I really do love this lipstick. Like I should have worn this today. But I was all into the white and black, so I wanted to do Red popping lips. My lips were popping today. Yeah, I just did that. But anywho, it is a really great lipstick. My lips look a little bit juicier now. Mm, just kidding. I'm over here literally leaning on my hand. There's nothing on my shirt at all from the lipstick. Nothing. Cause it's dry. Y'all, this is amazing. These colors will literally look beautiful on all skin types. Whether you're light, you're medium, or you're dark, or you're in between dark and medium, or you're in between medium and light. These colors are absolutely amazing. And the way that the texture is, the way that it feels is absolutely amazing. My lips doesn't feel chapped. It feels really nice and silky and smooth, but you can tell that it's matte. One thing I do wish was probably different about the lipsticks and these are my opinions. I'm not sponsored by MAC or I'm not paid by anyone to say. I do wish is that the bottles were a bit longer or at least the handles are a bit longer when applying. Like the actual applicator is a bit short in my opinion but at the same time, who cares if your lipstick is popping? Like, who cares? This actually is like a relatable lipstick to maybe, um, I wanna say Cyber. I may be a little bit off, but I think maybe Cyber or Diva. And then of course, um, Feel So Grand is definitely relatable to Ruby Woo, hands down. I would definitely say go out and grab these lipsticks. You can't be anything like these. And of course, it's MAC, so it's gonna get any better than MAC. <laughs> um, I hope you guys like the Hello Holland slash review. I have plenty of crap over here on the wall that I want to show you guys, but just to kind of make this vid a little bit short and not, you know, take up all your time, um, I'm going to save those for later. Absolutely love it. Don't forget to subscribe. Drop your comments or questions down below. I want to hear what you guys think and what you guys may have um, suggestions for. I love to take advice or add on how I can make my videos, my videos better. I know with time, it will become so much better when I get my ring light and my softbox lights. I'm sure the lighting here will be a thousand times better. Um, but yeah, thank you guys. I love you more than you ever know and stay beautiful. I love you more than you ever... Fuck. <laughs> it's always this part. Shit. <laughs> I love you more than you ever know. Boost. I forced that. That was a force. Bye, you guys.